Steve, 2019, another open house success, three days of sales, many customers. But what I'm quite interested in today is that you devote the Friday to an apprentice day. How key is this day for DMG Mori UK? Well, I think it's key for manufacturing in general. So I want to be seen to be supporting manufacturing. Um, you never know, well, these are the buyers of the future for a start. But it is really important to use these facilities to show people the opportunities that are out there, the kind of technology that's available. And, and it's not just us, it's our supply chain as well that helps them during the day. So how do you actually find your apprentices then, Steve? Well, we use two, two or three options, but the main one is actually through the MTC, which is the Manufacturing Technology Centre based in uh, Coventry, down the road from us. So they would do a year there and then come and join us and then also do some block release going back to the MTC uh, over the three year period. Um, but actually they can carry on from there if they wish. So if they want to go on and do their masters, doctorates, I'm very happy to support that as an educational process. And on average, how many apprentices do you actually take on each year? Well this year actually I had the great opportunity to interview 12 apprentices. Um, we were only going to take on two, which we did. Um, but there was a really good team coming through this year. Last year it was slightly different. So I'm looking at two a year and to build on that going through. Of course what we did have is we've got Jack McCarthy who um, is an apprentice who will finish his apprenticeship this year, represented the UK in world skills in Russia previously. So that's a really good accolade for what he's done and he has actually brought a lot into our company through that. Jack, tell me a little bit about how you became an apprentice here at DMG Murray. Uh, so I started off at the AMTC, which is an academy uh, centre for apprenticeships. Um, and then I joined here about two years in um, on a trainee sort of three month basis uh, for training. And then after that, I sort of uh, just joined on permanently. So, so is it sort of a brand recognising from, from that point of view? Yeah, yeah. It's so we did a lot of work with on, on uh, DMG Mori machines in the academy building, um, and then when you get into your second year, they actually send you off to do just train at other companies, get a little bit of experience in uh, different workshops, and then you can actually decide whether the company will will take you on after that. And, and you've been here for what three years now? Just under three years now. Yeah, just under three years. And, and what are you actually sort of learning now on the machines? Uh, so currently, I'm doing a lot of Siemens-based machines. Um, it can be milling machines, lathes, mill turns, all sort of machines that I've been working on recently. And looking at the CLX machine here, now you, you had the privilege to be at World Skills in Russia on, you know, using this type of machine, but tell us the, the experience that you had. Yeah, so it was a two year experience, so a two year journey, um, got through with the national finals um, and then got joined into the, what's known as Team UK. Um, so I was training for about two years and then went into the finals within Russia um, in August this year. And what was the discipline, actually, uh, just using this type of machine or making a component? Yeah, so we used Mastercam for our um, uh, programming, and then it was uh, DMG Mori machines with Siemens controller uh, for the machine. So there was, I think there was around 32 countries in the final. Um, you get three modules, one each day, um, and then, then they get all marked to see who's the winner, really. Well, what a fantastic experience. And I suppose the, the wonderful thing being an apprentice here at DMG Mori is the portfolio of products. Mm. Yeah, we get a lot of, a lot of new, new products in here, um, all the uh, newest ranges that we can use. So there's always different machines in here, different controllers that we can train on. So there's always con constant training here. You've been with uh, DMG Mori for, what, three years? Three years so, yeah. Tell me exactly how you got here. Well, I, I applied for a college called MGTS in Coventry. And then through MGTS, DMG Mori found me. And from there, I started my apprenticeship. Then my full year at college and then moved on to doing here, working in the showroom, and now moving on to service to start installing machines. So is that really what you want to get into, is the service side? Service, installations, breakdown in the near future, yeah. And when you're having an apprenticeship here, do they talk to you and make you learn about all the machines here? Yeah, so I've been working on quite a lot of the machines around the shop. So I've been doing installations. If there's any issues with it, I'll be learning how to fix it. So even from Mori and from DMG as well. So I'm just trying to get the full sort of aspect of it. And how long have, is the journey? How many more years have you got to, to, to get on the road to actually service machines? Well, I'm on the, my first year of my HNC now. I've got one more year of HNC and then that's the apprenticeship finished and I move on to full-time training for a service engineer. And I suppose the benefit is with DMG Moray, the massive portfolio of products, you're not going to be working on the same machine all the time. No, yeah, it's always something different every day, which is sort of something I enjoy.
I'm a, an engineering apprentice in my third year of my time, uh, working for an aerospace company. Uh, I've done a lot of CNC machining, do some five axis, bit of turning, but mainly on the milling side of things. Uh, I'm here at DMG really to have a look at some of their technology, just out of interest really. Um, and I'm hoping to be going to World Skills, so I've got a bit of uh, preparation to do for the uh, event itself in November. So, so do you actually work on DMG Mori machines at the moment? Uh, not at the minute, so I tend to work on uh, other uh, brands. So I'm here just really to uh, see what they offer because that's the machine that they're going to be using at uh, the skills show in November. And how did you hear about the actual uh, event here? Well, funnily enough, it was an MTD CNC video uh, advertising the Apprentice Open Day. So, uh, yeah, saw that video, got in touch with DMG Moy. They said, yeah, we'll be really happy to have you. Food included as well, so very nice. I, I know Ben's taken you around one of the apprentices here about the machines, but is, is there anything that's really caught your eye here? Uh, I think a lot of the automation stuff is really, really clever, the way they're looking at loading multiple parts into a machine. And also just the number of machining centers that look so much like spaceships. I think it's, it's crazy technology they've got and they've really made it look really, really great. And some of the speeds on the machines frankly blew my mind. I, I, I thought I used to run some quick machines, but these are the next level really. Well, and I think this is what the, the day's for, is to actually sort of show, show you the, the extent of the portfolio of DMG Mori machines. But, you know, from an MTD CNC point of view, we wish you well at WorldSkills UK. Thank you very much. With skill shortages in the UK, but worldwide, how important is it for DMG Mori to take apprentices on? Vital. Absolutely critical that we bring people in, we mould them the way that we want to do the work, the way that we want to supply our customers and support our customers and they get a very, very strong understanding of the work ethics and the technologies that you have to use. So it is critical, yeah.